Good morning, it's Ronnie here and this morning or today I'm going to do a what I eat in a day, day in the life type video so we're going to have a fruit luck today in Glasgow which is a little group I organise, uh, you can join if you like and I'm going to meet my friend Ricky, we're going to cycle through so that's going to be pretty cool sunny day but a little cold so we'll see how the day develops and I'll be showing you what I'm doing today mostly and what I'm eating and stuff and hopefully you can get some some idea of you know how to do this kind of lifestyle have of eating more raw food of living on fruit based diet and oh interesting I'm just so I'm in my garden at the moment and just looking at some apples look at these apples these are apple trees already flowering and stuff so that's pretty cool right so let's move on to seeing Ricky and cycling to the fruit luck okay before I meet Ricky go cycling to the fruit lock. I want to show you one of these. This is something I use quite a lot for carrying fruit. When I first got into this lifestyle, what I found was carrying fruit around was a real difficult thing because it would always get bashed, especially bananas. You put them in your bag and a couple of minutes later they'd be absolutely bashed and brown. So I've often used a box like this. It's like a little box with a handle pretty cool and sometimes I'll put a towel in the bottom depending on what I'm doing and it's a great way for carrying fruit around and some people say oh don't people look at you or something <laughs> well, uh, I'm sort of beyond that stage of worrying about people looking at me carrying fruit around so have a look out for these boxes I don't know exactly what they're for or where they're from in the UK oh, you get them in pound stretcher apparently pound stretcher so a little handle and a thing, kind of ideal for carrying some any food really, but for fruit, pretty great. So I'll probably I might use this, but when I'm cycling, I don't know. I'll, I'll I might have to have some other plan. But <laughs> so here's bananas, 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 banana. So I'll, the way I'm seeing things today. Oh, that's. I'll need to go out and buy some more bananas today because these are sort of starting to ripen. Some of these aren't feeling so good. Well, that's not good. So I'll need to buy some some fruit today in general, but some bananas and uh, yeah. So it's like a constant flow of for me at the moment buying bananas <laughs> and having them ripe. So these ones are like ripe, ready to eat now. These few, these are coming into ripe, a couple of days worth of bananas or three days worth or so. And then I'll buy some more and then the cycle will continue. So I know some of you will say, I don't like bananas so I can't, I can't do a raw food diet. But you got to learn to love bananas. <laughs> you, can't, you can't just throw away food and fruit and stuff like that. You can't just, it's just, you can't base this on your previous experience of eating food. You know, you might think you know you don't like bananas, but you can develop a real love for the banana, and especially when you feel how it makes you feel. Banana is the best—I think it's the best food on the planet, pretty much for human beings. I can't—I mean, I enjoy other fruits more in terms of their taste and everything else, but all round, the banana is such an amazing food. It makes you feel really great. It makes you feel really full. tastes good all the time pretty much uh, so so bananas are just uh, an awesome staple food for any diet but for obviously raw food diet <laughs> pretty pretty great staple um, starting to heat up a bit now so we'll see you here cut to me meeting Ricky and cycling hey Ricky hi man how's it going? here we are Cycling, what's your bike? A giant? A giant escape free. Uh, it's my first like proper bike really, so nice. Yeah, and you cool. are Yeah, it's from <laughs> vegan proteins, so it's uh, pretty passionate vegan. Muscles by Brussels. 
And and you're looking bigger every day. Every time I see you, you're like put on more mass. It's been a while. <laughs> I bulked over the winter for the first time. Sure. Uh, with vegan foods and yeah. Um, yeah, it worked pretty good. I've probably about 87, 90 kilos just now. Oh wow. And yes, yeah, it's, it's like literally the uh, start of heavyweight. So awesome. And um, they say vegans can't get size. So. <laughs> Nice. I guess it's uh, fair enough it's light heavyweight still, but it's getting there, so... Nice, man. After the first year of training, really, so... Yeah, and so we're, yeah. we're heading up to the Foot Luck to eat some fruit, fruit in the sun, great first, day. First of the year, so... Pollock Country Park, cycling through. Yes, so, looking forward to it. Yep. It's a nice place, so it should be a pretty cool day. Excellent, man. So, yeah, the weather's not bad for it, so... Yeah, it'll be good. Should be cool. Okay, let's go. Excellent. Hey, Ronnie. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, so cycling in Pollock Park. This is nice. Yeah, that's cool. This is a <laughs> try, try not to fall over while <laughs> filming with one hand. I don't know how people do this. Uh -huh. I guess they've got a, a device to hold on selfie to. Selfie stick or Yeah, selfie <laughs> stick. Just, what do we call this? Just the uh, easy ride. Yep. Easy. <laughs> Sauntering. <Sunshine. laughs> <laughs> yeah. Breathing in the trees, the oxygen from the trees. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice kind of further along, you've got rugby pitches and stuff, you can see people yeah. being active, and there's a golf course, um, yeah, there's little a allotments as well, gardens. Thank you. Yeah, there's pretty much everything here. Yeah, it's a very nice vibe. Very, very nice vibe in this park. And there's a big international art collection called the Burrell Collection. Yep, museum. Not, not that we're here on the Glasgow, for the Glasgow Tourist Board or anything. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's see. So we're coming up to the scenic This is the BBC building here. British biased corporation. <laughs> What's this, the armadillo? to the west end. Okay, this is the fruit lot here. <laughs> and I've just been eating bananas, so I've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. If they come to you and ask, you know, 12. And about 12, maybe 13 bananas? Yeah. That's all yeah, I've eaten today so far. We're having a pretty cool time in the sun. So, that's it. Best thing is just don't let it be legal. I think we would. Really scary tunnel. 